You guys may have remembered my video regarding the bonus hole. Yes, new language just dropped straight from the Academia into the Cervical Cancer Charity. And this was mocked all over the internet. Uh, very negatively received. But uh, for some reason, it's still being promoted. And here we have a doctor. Uh, I encourage people not to contact this lady, okay? It's not about her, but the idea that she is uh, espousing is something that's very common. And she's a public figure, so I'm not going to censor the name so that people can see that it's a legit doctor that is saying these things. And in her opinion, she says that humanity... Humanity has been inventing new language for thousands of years. No one battled an eyelid when we moved from your old English. This is no different. The only reason it's newsworthy is because you guessed it. It's about the trans community. Mm. There are currently words and phrases that are very binary and can be triggered to those people who do not identify with the sex they were assigned at birth. What is the problem with using new language? Who does it actually really hurt if we use different words or phrases? Well, apparently the vast, overwhelming majority of women that do not like the expression bonus hole. I mean, Ara Kasperian or the Young Turks doesn't like to be called a birthing person. And, uh, you know, like, if it upsets a large group of the population and the people that it benefits are very few in number, uh, why do we side with the very few? I mean, it's a democracy, right? But not only that, uh, it seems that they're not even trying to find other words. Uh, and it is very demeaning. I mean, I don't think any person goes to their mother and says, uh, Hey, birthing person, uh, happy birthing person day. You know, no one goes to their father and calls them the inseminator. Uh, this is a very bizarre, peculiar language that you're trying to inflict on people. So you say it's not about to hurt and abuse people, but when you look at the situation, I see that the overwhelming majority of women do not like these words that uh, are being enforced. And this is the problem, you know, like, yes, language is evolving, uh, but there is a natural evolution of language. This is enforced type of language that comes top down. It's like uh, a diktat, like you have to use these words. Uh, otherwise, there may be consequences, and the consequences can be getting banned from social media, it can be getting ostracized from your friends group, it can be getting fired. And if you want to talk about humanity and human history, the only time that this happens in history is when a nation conquers another nation. So you have, like, for example, the Soviet Union conquering Eastern Europe. And then deciding that this is how things are going to go forward. Like, you're going to use tovarish uh, when you refer to another person. You're going to uh, uh, use the word comrade rather than use Mr. and Mrs. And, you know, the population that is being conquered doesn't really have anything to say in the matter. Uh, they do have to use the new lexicon. And uh, sometimes they even change letters. So, for example, they added a new letter in the Romanian language, uh, which is uh, Udin A and Udin E. Uh, whatever, you know, like if you're Romanian, you know what I mean. Um, but throughout history, yes, this has happened. Like you have a culture that conquers and dominates another. And uh, usually it was about religious uh, things. Like they, they would uh, force celebrations of certain religious holidays or they would force certain religious sayings but as time moves on and we notice that when the soviet union was conquering stuff they would again like enforce gender neutral language tovarish right so uh, you were supposed to refer to your teacher as tovarish teacher like you want to say miss keen it was tovarish keen so uh this is why people do not like it right um it is oppressive it is not grassroots. Uh, and even the community that you claim to represent, like the transgender community, uh, did you actually consult it with them? Was it democratic? Like, has even the, like half of the transgender people in the United States got together and decided that this is what they want? Like, this, like they demand that everyone uses the term birthing person? Or is it like someone from academia or maybe an activist which wanted to gather some social clout and justify the fact that they're gorging on taxpayer money and charity donations uh, to show that they're still useful and they are doing some minor trivial stuff, which, by the way, seems to annoy the general public. Um, I know many trans people that are donating to my Subscribestar 
And they are saying that they do not like this shit because, yes, it does foster animosity. Like, people do not enjoy being called these things. And it's mostly with the political correctness. Like, for example, the word Latinx is being heavily rejected by the Latin community, but it's being pushed anyway. Uh, chest feeding is another word that is being heavily rejected, but is being pushed anyway. And, and, you know, you have these people in the academia that have secluded themselves from reality. They live in their ivory towers. Uh, and they speak from a position of authority. And when you disagree with what they are saying, they do not act like you're disagreeing with them, that they are stupid. They act like they hide behind the groups they allegedly represent. And they make it seem, well, you actually are against trans people. No, I'm actually against the twats from the academia that are coming with these bullshit terms that I have yet to even be proven that the trans people even want. So uh, apparently anti-trans people are using this once again to hurt and abuse people. Yeah, but like, aren't you hurting and abusing women when you're calling it the bonus hole? I, I mean, th it's such a ridiculous term. The bonus hole. Like, let me let me put it in your bonus hole. Ah, score, bonus points. You know, it's degrading, demeaning. Like, like again, if, if you were to go back in time, even five years ago, back when uh, third wave feminism was a thing, um... And you were to, to say that uh, instead of calling women, you would call them birthing people? You'd get cancelled. You'd get cancelled off social media. You'd get cancelled from most of these places. Um, so, so, like, again, you know, how many trans people are in the United States? Because there's probably, like, less than 5%. Now, how many women are there? So, so like, why is it? Like, like how, how can I get, like, right? I, I'm just one person. And Romania has 20 million people. How can I force the other 19, 99 million people... Uh, abide by what I want. Like, how can I enforce my... So, so it's like, do, do I need to get any other people so that, uh, you know, I, I can force language that other people should use? Like, if I if I want to be called the inseminator, can I force you to acknowledge that? And, like, from now on, whenever you talk with me, you're like, well, the inseminator is here. The one who impregnates. You know? I mean, it's interesting that for men this isn't applied, as I mentioned before. I find it very fascinating. But, like, the inclusive language doesn't seem to include men, right? So men still get to be called men, um, and like, when we refer to them. We do not call them the ejaculators, but for some reason, when it's about women, we do get to call them... In some way, this is antagonistic, isn't it? Like, like you're trying to create division on purpose, aren't you? Like, like you, you're doing this in order to create the societal friction so that activist groups can claim that they have something to work on. Because if there was no societal fiction, then activist groups would be put out of a job. Like, for example, uh, under communism, there was a huge stigma against left-handed people, right? So if you wanted to create an activist group to protect the interests of left-handed people, well, today you wouldn't be able to because there is no more stigma. There's nothing to do activism for. So I generally think that they are doing this in order to keep causing friction. There is no other explanation. Let me know what you guys think, though, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.